Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we are going to see how can we calculate the difference between two dates. So this is my table which is fact internet sales. I'll be giving the link in the description. The situation that we have is we want to find the number of days that was required to ship the product, right? So you ordered a product on 1st of July 2005, let's say, that the ship date is on 9th of July. So uh, how many days did it take for the order to get shipped okay we need a tax function called date diff so let me click on new column the name of the column we have to give to ship okay we will go ahead and type date diff now both the arguments date one and date two has to be of type date so i'll go ahead and give the order date as the first argument comma i'll give the ship date as the second argument now there are so many interval types uh, you want the difference between the order date and the ship date to be in days then you will put day hour if you want that to be in month or year you can go ahead and choose so in our case we will try to keep this simple and we will just choose day hit enter I ordered the item on 1st of July right and it got shipped on 9th of july so how many days obviously eight days right similarly you are having all these differences row by row now so over here what we have done is we have seen the date diff in in terms of columns now we will go ahead and see how you can calculate the date diff in terms of measure i'll name the measure as average time to ship equals average x because it's a row by row operation right and the or table name will be fact internet sales and then I'll give a comma and after that so for each and every row of the table I again have to do a date diff only right so I will go ahead and write the date diff the okay and then I'll close my average X so I'll go now to the report view take a card a blank card over here and I will pull in the new uh, average time to ship measure over here so it table over here I'll pull in a new table I'll add first of all the product key I'll say do not summarize this because the product key is of type number so I'll say don't summarize so I'll get all the product individually then I'll bring in two columns which are my order date and ship date. Sorry. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and bring my new measure that I have created. Right. So as you can see, you have the difference, all these differences, right, between the order date and the ship date to be a particular number. And then it will do the average, it will divide it by the total number of rows. So as most of the days is seven you get the average as seven days which is exactly referring to this particular card over here at the so guys if you are liking my explanation i'll request you to please uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for all the love and support guys so i'll uh, see you in the next tutorial